Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a DIY and not just any DIY, you guys. This is going to be a whole game changer for you guys, okay? Remember how we did the Selena Quintanilla inspired MAC cosmetics little cosmetic bag thingy? You remember what? You know, we don't know what I'm talking about, right? You saw the, the previous DIY where we made our own Selena Quintanilla bustier inspired either a uh, little cosmetic bag or handbag or a little crossbody bag like this one. Well, as you guys saw, I used a lot of cosmetic bags that were like pretty much free gifts from like purchases I did from like makeup, skincare, and you know, those luxurious brands, how they get you to buy like $75 or 100 and something to give you like that free cosmetic bag. Well, a lot of them, it's just a regular schmegular little zipper bag that you put in your handbag. But don't you ever wish sometimes that that little bag had some kind of like handle where you can use it as a purse? Well, we're going to make that happen today. And so... As you know, I did a lot of them. This is one of them, and as you can see right here, we did the whole shebang over here, put the little handle and whatnot, got the little chain going on. So this is gonna be something I'm gonna be able to wear as a crossbody bag. Not just like a little cosmetic bag I'm gonna put in my bag, but literally like, I'm just gonna be able to wear this as a crossbody bag. This creation right here came up last minute. This was just a plain Chanel perfume cosmetic bag that I had actually purchased on eBay. I think I got this one for like, I don't know, like 15 bucks or something like that. Where I worked, we weren't allowed to take any bags bigger than half a paper size. So these were actually perfect for me and I had actually ordered it because I mostly would work with Chanel. But <laughs> this happened. <laughs> these were actually cabochons that I had actually originally ordered because I was going to make my own phone case. I'm just going to have to order more. Then I already had like these little Chanel logo confetti thingies and pearls. And I just added pearls. And I added also like the little shebangs over here. Metal grommets, I think they're called. A little chain or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So we can carry us a crossbody bag. And just perfect timing. This just arrived. Are you freaking kidding me? That's a mini gloss and a little mini mirror thingy majigger. You know what I'm saying? Like a little mirror, you know, like I can fit one eyeball in there or whatever, you know, but I can check myself with it. <laughs> Probably gonna add this on my new creations little zipper. It was honestly Chanel inspired. Like all these little capuchons that were here, all these little, they're like all Chanel inspired. I might have gone a little overboard with the capuchons, but it's my personal creation. I've actually already seen bags like these with like these little Chanel inspired cabochons on them and i just i don't know i kind of like that i wanted one then i just i don't know the chance to create one as i was filming i'm like hey i'm gonna do this right now <laughs> like i said i literally have about two drawers full of just like cosmetic bags just regular cosmetic bags where you're meant to just put like your travel sizes or just the stuff that you use on the daily and this one since like i saw it i was like wish there was a way to put handles on these or like put something where i can carry as a bag because it's so huge who carries this in their bag honestly like it's so freaking huge like y'all know i got a crap load of makeup but really like where am i gonna be going with all this makeup in this huge ass bag so i just wished there was a way to put a little handle somewhere i can like make it into a handbag or crossbody bag and i found a way and that's what we're gonna do today you guys we are gonna create our own personal crossbody bags with just any cosmetic bag that you might have laying around that you just wish it had like some kind of strap where you can just carry around and i'll be showing you guys where i got the stuff how much it costs and everything I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I was really excited to make this. As soon as I made these bags, I told you guys we are going to make them into crossbody bags together. <laughs> so, if you want to learn how to make your own little cosmetic bag into crossbody bags or handbags or whatever, just keep watching. Okay, so to make this as professional and neat as possible, we are going to need a kit of what they call metagromets. You can find this at Amazon, and this little kit specifically has absolutely everything you need to make this happen. This one has four different metallic colors, which is amazing because I don't want it to be all one color, but we do want to make this like as neat as possible. This one has every single tool that you need to make this happen. Again, you could just poke a hole through it, but then it'll rip eventually as you put the buckle which you don't want then you're gonna need some kind of like little buckles or ringlets or something to like put the strap on or hook the strap on these i also got on my amazon as you can see right here how this one has like the little buckle and then you have like the little hook that is attached to the strap we want to make this again as professional as possible again i got these at amazon these were like the easiest and cheapest alternative it's just like regular keychain rings and it's just really easy to apply uh if you want like the original buckles you might need like tweezers or some kind of tool to apply them then of course we're gonna need our uh, either straps or i don't know chain straps i like chain straps i just think they're more glamorous i just 
person liked them. Also got this set of four at Amazon. I said four because there is another one I already put it to use, but like these are pretty much gonna match like the little ringlets. And here is a chain that I told you I already used. I already made one for you guys just to use it as an example. I even added like that black keychain ring to it because it was missing from the zipper so i added that but this is pretty much going to be your end result as into what we're going to make today as you guys know this is one of my favorite like bags that i did it was inspired on one of the selena quintanilla bustiers full of gems which is so precious but the one I'm going to be doing on camera for you guys is this one right here. This is where we're going to place the metal grill mitts. And I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute. Of course, we have to see what exactly we're going to use. As you can see, this bag is like gold all over. So we kind of odd if we use anything other than gold. So we have to find like a matching strap or chain, whatever you want to use. Of course, because it's gold, we're probably going to use this gold one. Not probably. We're going to use this gold one. And because we're going to use this gold one and everything else is gold, we're going to use the gold metal grill mitts which are right here and i'm going to show you how to place those right now just getting ready exactly the tools that i'm going to use for the specific bag we're going to take out every single tool that we're going to need we're going to get the gold grommets a little ringlet that goes with it and you know this is exactly what it's going to look like and that's a little ringlet that's going to go on top of it again in a minute i'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do it if there is no rocket science at all you guys it's like the easiest thing we can do like when it comes down to diy like it's so freaking easy so i promise you there is absolutely no rocket science to this you're gonna place this little metal thingy that comes in the kit i don't know what it's called but it looks like this and it comes in the kit and you're gonna place Place it where you want your metal grommet to go on and you're gonna make sure that the little pokey thing stands out because that's where it's pretty much gonna cut the hole so you're gonna place it down and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this tool that comes with it and place it on top of it and you're just gonna twist it around as so and it's automatically just gonna cut the fabric and make the hole for you it looks hard but it really not you guys i promise you once you get the hang of it it's gonna be like rocket science you think you're gonna be able to do these like nothing but as you see right here i'm just twisting it around just making sure it cuts like the extra fabric off you don't want to leave like little pieces around and as you twist around this should happen so there is your little hole of course you can remove this little metal thingy i think it's just like for support so you can actually make the hole maybe you can make this hole with a hole puncher or something it's just gonna be i don't know more complicated these tools are specially to do this i also found you guys you can actually hammer this so you don't have to twist around if it gets too hard or the fabric is too thick you can just hammer it down now putting the bigger part of the metal grommets facing out into the hole we're gonna make sure that all the fabric is removed because what we're gonna do next is put the smaller ring on top of it that is supposed to go along with it there's instruction you guys so don't trip out like if anything like there's i'm gonna show you in this video but there's instructions that come with it it's easy peasy now for the life of me you guys i cannot use a tool that came with it to secure this little metal grommet you're supposed to put this little metal thingy again into the hole and then place this one on top of it and then just pretty much twist it until it fully secures it now i don't know if i just didn't have the strength to do this but i just then I found myself struggling so much that I decided that I was gonna use a hammer. So <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna take your hammer, you're gonna place it in like in a good, I don't know, a counter, concrete, something. And you're just gonna put it down on a firm surface and you're gonna take your hammer and you're just gonna hammer it. Just give it like a one or two and that's it. It should be good alrighty now after that this is what it should look like now inside it doesn't matter how sloppy it looks as long as it's secured you guys like the fabric it's always gonna be swimming around because like you're doing this on your own it's not like machine made or anything like that like in factories but as long as it looks nice and neat outside you got it i'm gonna show you like the easiest way i found to put these little ringlet keychains on it just because like it's like those little keychain thingies that has pressure and honestly you guys like if you guys have nails or something it's gonna be complicated you might break a nail off so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place like either some scissors i don't know maybe like a screwdriver or something but we're gonna place the ring the keychain ring on it and we're gonna get a gold one obvi because remember we want to match this and make it as professional and neat as possible and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get like my scissors like i have some scissors somewhere around here you guys freaking struggling to find them right here so with half of the scissors i'm just gonna like put it 
in there like in the little crack or whatever you call it honestly you guys i don't know what it's called but i'm just gonna place it in there to form some kind of like opening and then i'm just gonna twist it i just found that this is easier the bigger the opening the better and the easier and quicker for you i promise you because again if you have acrylics it's just gonna fly off i promise you that like these things are just strong now grabbing the little ringlet thing with the scissors in between you're just gonna place it into the little what do we say metal grommet hole that you just made yourself you should feel proud by this step you guys if you guys got this far into the step you should feel proud like honestly you guys like this is like professional status <laughs> we're just gonna try our best to put it in there now this is challenging if you don't do this right you can pretty much pop out the little metal uh grommet and it's just over you're gonna have to do it again and it's annoying trust me that's what happened to me on the first little cosmetic bag i made and uh let me tell you how frustrated i was all right once you fully manage to put the little keychain ring into the hole everything else comes easy peasy you guys it just pretty much slides in there and all you have to do is like do little twisty motions and it just like fully slides in there and life has never been easier and after you're fully finished putting the little keychain rings or the buckles you're using, it should come out looking like this. And all we have to do now is put either our handbag strap or in my case, a cross body chain strap that I'm going to use. I just feel like this looks more glamorous and like super glam. And that's the same word I just used to describe earlier. Oh my gosh. But I just feel like it looks very fancy and very cute and just like calls a lot of attention and you get a lot of compliments and stuff like that. Like I just love this little DIY that we're doing and these little cabochons I use. I just think it's a very beautiful creation if I do say so myself you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the same thing for this Chanel pouch, but I feel like I'm gonna bedazzle it first, give it a little glam up, you know, and then I'm gonna be adding metal grommets and a chain strap to this Elizabeth Arden pouch as well. With the new technique we just learned today, I already added the metal grommets, the keychain rings, the chain strap to make it into a crossbody bag. I just thought that metal chrome will be like more appropriate for this kind of cosmetic bag especially with that little chanel metallic logo it has there just that went perfect with it and of course the one that i was dying to make this elizabeth arden gigantic pouch which love the way it turned out and to decorate this chanel pouch i'm gonna be using these chanel inspired cabochons which i had originally bought to make a cell phone case of my own now i'm just gonna have to buy more but totally worth the investment for my crazy diy ideas Kind of having an idea of what i'm gonna do like all the diys i'm gonna be using my glue e6000 the trick to this you guys is that once you finish the application leave it alone for 24 hours and it will not move you guys i promise you that and look what's just arrived to complement this cross body bag just perfect timing and of course this is the one that we had been doing in the beginning of the video i just thought I don't know the i don't know if it's just me the outcome i just love how glamorous and bedazzled it is and of course i am dying to actually like wear this one i've been wanting to use this pouch but i just refuse to freaking be carrying this gigantic thing in my hand without any handles or anything to hold on to it but now no problem and of course the star of the show to me this as you know is inspired on one of selena quintanilla's gem and bedazzled bustier you know on those things you used to do i just love the outcome it's very 90s love it and of course my last minute idea diy i think i overdid it a little bit with the cabochons but look at the little keychain you guys funny story i actually have that full-size lip gloss and that mirror i just think it's hilarious how i have the minis now but i love the outcome of it if i do say so myself i think i'll be getting a lot of questions on this one though <laughs> super glam just like me extra <laughs> and this is the estee lauder one that we had we had did okay i was gonna say we had did <laughs> we did on the previous video we're making our selena quintanilla bustier inspired cosmetic bags slash crossbody bags love the outcome of it gold is one of my favorites so just love it in general and of course i can say one of my favorites i just like it because it's green and i love emerald green green is life green is my favorite color it's glam it's bedazzled i don't know what do you guys think i love it while right like i'm just always coming up with all kinds of ways to always do something or make something out of something like ever since i was little i've always had like that imagination or creativity where i would always like make something out of something like it was just me like that was just me like you would never think like there's a lot of like there was jeans that i would take to high school and stuff like that like people didn't know that i actually had made those them myself and 
I had like sewed on stuff and they were just so personalized and people were like, oh, like you actually made those yourself and this and that. Like I, I've always, I've always been into like making or customizing stuff. And I just thought this was like a great opportunity. To just do something together. Because how many of us don't have like little cosmetic bags just laying around or like handbags or like clutches? even clutches themselves and you just wish they had like a crossbody strap we don't have to worry about like carrying your hand like there's certain things that are nice to carry in your hand but certain things are so nice that you actually wish that you can just carry them around all the time but that you didn't have to hold on to them so a crossbody strap is just perfection i really hope you guys enjoyed this diy honestly like i have so many in mind for you guys we're gonna be creating our own versace inspired handbag and for now i really hope you guys enjoyed this diy and i really hope you guys have a good rest of the day night morning whatever time is that you're watching this and just don't forget to subscribe you guys because i love you guys so much and i know you guys love me and i know you guys keep coming back just hit that subscribe button you guys like don't make this any harder okay don't make this any harder either the easy way or the hard way kidding you guys i'll see you guys next time and take care bye guys